Hello, I'm Dr. Jermaine Whirl. 2020 has brought many challenges, but we have all found a way to adapt and change. We have changed with you, with online offerings that you can complete from your couch or kitchen table, as well as online support systems to help no matter what life brings your way. And we'll continue to adapt as we move into our fall semester. Hi, I'm Dr. Mathilde Knowles. Already we've opened up our student services to include in-person options such as enrollment services, financial aid, tutoring, and more. And this fall we'll have face-to-face, -face, hybrid, and online options for classes so that you can learn in a format that meets your goals, comfort level, and style of learning. We look forward to returning to campus and seeing you continue to follow your path. As with all campus safety measures, we're dedicated to timely and forthright communication. Our dedication to communication about COVID-19 is no different. To date, we have communicated to you about all of our transitions via our webpage, www.gvltec.edu slash COVID. It's accessible on every page of our website and through text communications, email, and social media. Please remember that your college email account is the official source for your communication from us, and we encourage you to check it often. Details and reminders of how to access your email account can be found on the FAQ page of GTC for Me. Direct access to your email is also on GTC for Me and at the top of the college website under the student login tab located at the top of the site. If the college is notified that there is an incident of COVID-19 at a Greenville Technical College facility, then your instructor will notify you if your schedule shows that you have a class with that impacted individual. While we will not disclose personal details about the person who was ill, we will let you know that an individual in your class has tested positive and let you know whether quarantine is necessary. There will also be notification on the door of impacted classrooms while the rooms are being sanitized to prevent future spread. Please note that our communications out are as good as your communications to us. And so we do ask that you notify your faculty member or the college administration if you have tested positive for COVID-19, are experiencing symptoms, or have been exposed to someone who has COVID-19. You may complete a reporting form found on the COVID-19 webpage, or simply ask your instructor to report for you. When in doubt, fill it out. After you complete the form, a member of the college's COVID response team will contact you for more information. Based on the details you provide, you'll be advised as to the next steps you should take. In some cases, that means you'll need to isolate before returning to class. We know that we are all susceptible to COVID-19, no matter how carefully we social distance and follow safety protocols. We are committed to helping you stay on track if that occurs in your life, especially for your in-person courses, since they cannot be completed on campus. Some ways that we can assist are to help you transition to an online option with additional online or virtual tutoring to help you succeed in that transition. We recognize that we are all different, and so we can help you with an individualized plan to make sure that you succeed. Again, our ability to support you relies on your communication with us. Please keep your faculty informed so that we can work with you no matter what life brings. We want our campus community to be as safe as possible. In order to do this, we have ramped up our sanitizing efforts at the college, providing disinfectant wipes and hand sanitizers in every room, wiping off desks and surfaces between classes, providing each student with a welcome bag, including two face masks, designated and marked entrances and walkways with directional signage, as well as closed back-to-back -back seating for social distancing. We've also limited the number of students in each class, provided reminders on entrance doors and hallways with best practices for safety during this pandemic. As you know, we've also mandated that masks be worn by everyone while on campus, both inside and outside of the classroom. This is not just about protecting ourselves, but also protecting the people around us. We are a community and we are all in this together. We are committed to living out all of the above and we ask for your commitment to these safety measures as well. We recognize that there is always the possibility for a COVID-19 incident on our campus, just like any other location in the community. And we are dedicated to mitigating this to keep our students, staff, and faculty as safe as possible. Whether that is for us as individuals, 
but also for our families and loved ones. None of us operate solo, and we want to keep all the people around us safe during these unprecedented times. Greenville Technical College is not just about in-person or online classes. We are also known for our amazing hands-on programs. Your program may involve working on 3D printers, practicing taking blood pressure on a patient simulator, or repairing a truck in automotive. No matter the content, these labs are critical to your engagement and learning. Please check with your faculty member about how this will work this fall semester. Likely, it will include coming in very small groups during unique times in order to properly social distance so that you can achieve your goals while staying safe. Many programs also have clinicals interacting directly with community members, either on site or at a third party location. Again, this may look different this year. These may involve more simulators, working with fellow students, or limited community appointments. Third party locations will determine their way of working and faculty will be able to provide the solution for their program and classes. Regardless of these changes, you will continue to receive education that you have come to expect here at the college. You may decide that in-person classes are not the best fit for you this upcoming semester. We have other offerings that provide the same academic rigor and help you continue to move forward to achieve your goals. These include both online and hybrid classes. You can sort these options on the class schedule located online. Online classes have come a very long way in the last few years. Many people have been worried that they will have to do this alone without the support of faculty and fellow students. However, this is not the case with our online offerings. If you register for an online course, you will be in a virtual class with clear meeting times just like any in-person class. You will have a live faculty member, fellow classmates, the ability to talk and chat in your live class, as well as access to faculty office hours via an online platform, and a full suite of support services such as tutoring, library services, coaching. Instead of sitting in the classroom, you can sit at your kitchen table to have the same live engagement. That may be the most comfortable option for you, whether due to safety concerns or your need for a flexible schedule. And if you are worried about how this will work, we have an office dedicated to online offerings and the staff can assist you with how to get started, show you resources with step-by-step -step directions on how to log in and use the online platform. And if needed, you can even use our computer labs for computer access and internet. Hybrid or blended options are exactly as they sound. Classes have instruction both online and in person. This can limit your campus presence, but allow you to have some face time with both faculty and students to retain an element of in-person engagement if that's how you learn best. Again, you can sort these courses out on the course schedule page, and if you have any questions or concerns, then your advisor can assist you with the best schedule for you as an individual. We all have different schedules and ways of learning, and we want you to have a class schedule that is best for you. While this year has been unprecedented and full of challenges, personally and professionally, we are proud of how our entire campus has proven to be a community. You have continued to engage with each other through virtual campus life activities, town halls, and many other ways. We have continued to stay connected. We are truly in this together. We're proud of you and the dedication you've shown to thrive during this challenging time. And we look forward to seeing you again this fall.